Hello and welcome all. In this tutorial, we shall learn how to implement basic authorization. And we shall discuss the basic authorization with authorized view component. And later in the application, this will change to detailed authorization to show only the authenticated user profile data and not all data to everyone. So let's flip over to Visual Studio. Now, Blazor has an authorized view component which helps to display content depending on the authorization status. If you have the page content inside authorized view, only an authorized user can see it. So I have got the counter.razor which is created in the default template when you created the Blazor, uh, Blazor server-side project. It is created automatically with, for you as default. So what I will do is I will put this part below the act page directive within the authorized view component. So I'll wrap it around the authorized view. So just remove it from there and place it below the end tag below the button. All right. And that's all. So now if it is now this content, the current count, which takes its value from the this uh, current count variable uh, on the button click, uh, which increments the counter. This will only be shown if you are authorized, if you are logged in. So let's run the application. Control and F5, or you can click the IAS Express. Now on the browser, when the application is rendered, if you click on counter, now, because you have not logged in, so counter doesn't show anything. So now if you click on login and login with your user details. So now I've got this user credential email password and click on login. So I am logged in. Okay. Now if I click counter, you can see that I can click the counter and it increments. So the counter is working. And if I log out again and try to see the counter view. So nothing is coming. Now the next thing is if I wish to now show some other view if the um, user is not authenticated, if the user is not logged in, what do I do? I just stop the application and within that authorized view, within this authorized view and end authorized view, I'll put two clauses. One is that is authorized. So this is authorized. So once you are authorized or rather authenticated or logged in, you should be able to view the counter and increment it. Whereas not authorized persons will view this not authorized. So let's write you are not authorized to view this page and that's it and if I control shift B if I build this application build succeeded and if I run this application again so application I have closed so let me run it again now this application is running so if I click on counter, you are not authorized to view this page since I am not authenticated. I have not logged in. So if I log in now, with my credentials, you can click on remember me. So I am now logged in. Invalid login attempt. Uh, I think it was wrong password that I was giving. So I'm now logged in. Okay. Save it. So here I can see the count counter and then click on click me to increment the counter. And if I again log out, what happens? 
if you click on counter you are not authorized to view this page so we have shown how to implement a basic authorization in this tutorial so we will ultimately change this to show our user profiled data only which will be a thing in the future okay so see you next time